a lot of people relate nursing to just helping patients move from one place to another, cleaning up after them. We were initially a bit concerned. I actually suggested business administration. I'm just going to ultrasound your heart. In terms of theoretical knowledge, there's no doubt about it. She's on par or possibly better than some of the junior MOs. I think the public or even my family didn't really know what an APN does. I came to work at about early 7. Usually the main walk round starts at 8.30, but I like to review my patients a little bit earlier. Hello, my name is Faith. Yeah, I'm the nurse practitioner. I'm just going to listen to your lungs, okay? A little bit cold, eh? Breathe in and out slowly. This is a 76 year old gentleman. Admission for in hospital hypoxic arrest. Yep. So we are still continuing on sepsis benzyl as well as um, doxy because of the prolonged QTC. Okay, yeah. sounds reasonable. I'm going to just go check out the chest actually. Okay, and the BNP is. 4,000. We usually present some of the plans we intend to do um, for the patient on the day itself. So when Faith was a uh, senior staff nurse before she became an APN, she was uh, very uh, curious about the way that the medical team thinks about the patient, and what treatment plan they have. And on and off, she called me aside and asked me about what we were planning. Good morning. How are you? I'm just going to ultrasound your heart. Remember, we did this yesterday. A bit cold, okay? Okay, I think you're doing well. There's some improvement from yesterday. Uh, so now you know how to find a VTI, yeah? After a lot of training. Somebody should send you on an ultrasound course. Uh. I was looking at one actually at NUS. Maybe I should go through if you want today to see whether it's useful. An APN role is, we would say that we craft it ourselves and it can evolve as we progress in our career. So I am the first APN in the medical ICU in Tan Tok Seng and I've been a nurse for 14 years. After 9 years, I decided to apply for a Masters of Nursing program. I really wanted to do more for my patients to be the first responder when there is any change in their conditions. So I had to study for 18 months to prepare me for my role as an APN whereby we need to take history from patient, do physical examination, um, interpret lab as well as diagnostic results. I studied a lot. I think I've never studied so much in my life. Hello? Where he calls back. Uh, is it like a sudden uh, Yes, uh, he was already not doing very well, but uh, this deterioration is also quite sudden. Is there a reason why you're not going in yet? Firstly, I'm waiting to see whether the patient's son calls back. And then, secondly, um, family actually decided for a DNR status. Yeah, so that's why um, we will not be doing anything too aggressive for him uh, as a respect to patient as well as the family's wishes. So definitely when emergencies happen, if there isn't a, a medical doctor around, I'll try to take the lead in guiding them. And it is definitely additional stress because we also got to handle the emotions that's going around. I'm just preparing lunch that uh, my mum prepared for me. There are good days, there are bad days, but we always find time to eat. So my mum prepared herbal chicken with rice. Usually she'll cook uh, more nutritious stuff. 
I feel that um, her very news for me is her way of showing her love and her support in my career. Initially, at the point of application for nursing school, she wasn't the most keen. She wanted me to explore other um, other schools and other um, other sectors. Actually, it came as a surprise to us when she told us that she wanted to do nursing as a career. We were initially a bit concerned. I actually suggested consider business administration. It offers a wider career choice upon graduation, you know. You know. And basically a more regular office hour kind of job. So um, my grandmother had a major stroke. We went to Malaysia to visit her in the hospital and we were just very lost. But I just felt prompted to go up to her to just clean her eyes and she couldn't speak at that point of time. But I remember seeing her tear and I believe that at that moment I, I brought her comfort. You know, so then I thought to myself, if such small actions can bring so much comfort to a loved one, how much more nursing can offer. That incident really confirmed my decision that I really wanted to be a nurse. I think my parents were first a little taken aback. Uh, they asked, oh, why do you want to join nursing? It's so tiring, you know, you've got to stand on your feet the whole day. Nursing back then to them was only about cleaning up after patients. Okay, there were misconceptions that, you know, to be a nurse, you didn't have to have a lot of academic background. Do you have any breathing difficulty? No? This tube is it, yeah. Because now your blood pressure is still requiring quite a bit of medicine. Once that gets a bit better, we will try to work towards getting the tube out for you. Okay? Thank you for being so patient with us. I think what really pushes us on in this journey as a nurse is seeing the actual improvement and the patient's condition. I think that is uh, more important and, and more fulfilling. She was always very enthusiastic, you know. Like before she leave the house to go to work, she would say that, I'm going to save the world, you know. So I would just tell her that, please take care of yourself first, you know, before you have the energy to save the world, you know. That won us over, actually. When Faith told us that she was going to study for a Master's, we were actually very happy for her. And we actually gave her a stethoscope as a, scope, yeah. as a gesture of support. I guess my parents' perception towards nursing changed when they realised that there was actually a lot of career progression. I think I was most proud of her when she completed her Master's of Nursing and was the top student for the class of 2021. Well, we, we did brag about her being the top student, <laughs> as, as all parents do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's so nice to see you. Thank you, thank you. Michelle has been here in the hospital since the end of last year. She was definitely emotional. Uh, she was teary. It's definitely not easy um, having to look after a loved one who is sick. There are still family members who are not very familiar with the APN role and uh, sometimes they still request to speak to a team doctor. At those instances, we don't refuse them, but I do make it a point to stand beside my doctor so that it's being acknowledged that the APN, the APN role is actually part of the ICU team. She knows the protocols and procedures here. She has been around here the longest, so therefore uh, Faith is actually very useful for making sure that things get done correctly. I believe with time and with more interaction, the public would actually know more about this role and be more accepting of it. I just had a family member tell me yesterday that they appreciate what the nurses have been updating them because it's as good an information as what they would have um, wanted from the medical team.
So now I'm just going to start um, the teaching session for our nurses. So we're just going to do a short sharing session on X-ray interpretation on the common lines and tubes we see in ICU. Nurses are always very passionate to learn, so I always like to share whatever I've learned at our master's course so that you know everybody can grow together. Faith has been guiding me since I was a junior nurse here. As a mentor, she's always been very kind, she's very warm-hearted. She's assertive at times when the situation arises. Normally, we'll consult her on dosage, medications once. So she's always inspired me since I was a junior nurse and I completed my advanced diploma quite recently. I was very proud of him. I was actually very proud of him because it took a while for him to decide to want to further his studies and I was uh, actually a very proud mum moment. Okie dokie. Okay, go. Come on, go, go. We have three chow chows. This is Han, he's four years old. This is Tokyo, she is two years old. And we have one more older chow chow at home. It's Yogi, he's seven. They really help us to distress a lot because the moment we look at them, I think our troubles just go away. And it really gives us a lot of couple time together as well. Hi, I'm Daimler. Um, Faith's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Faith's husband. And we are married for, let me see, 12 years? Good. <laughs> Do you remember your wedding anniversary? Of course. I chose a very, very easy yeah. to remember date. 10, 11, 12. Very, very strategic. It was on purpose. We met over a meal. What I remember was like she was very caring. When we ordered the food, she would give me the first bite. In case it was poisoned. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> when she first told me she wants to do her master's for the APN, she told me like you would have to be at home. I would not be free to do anything. <laughs> the exam dates were intense. She has to be online, it was, a, it was during COVID, and I have to be at home. I can't watch the TV. <laughs> Everything got to be quiet, and I got to stand by in case the internet is down. Good I, job. I think he's always been very accommodating, uh, especially when work just gets a bit busy. Um, he'll always be there supporting by helping with the chores, with our dogs, taking them out by himself. Thank you for you know being so supportive throughout this whole journey. I know it hasn't been easy, and uh, there are some times whereby you know I'm I'm so busy or occupied until you forget about me. No, I don't forget about you. <laughs> until I may just focus a little bit more about work. Yeah, but but I I, I really want you to know that I appreciate you and uh, thank you for all the little things that you do for me and. Um, they may be small little actions, but they speak a lot. Oh. <laughs> I remember this elderly lady who was most likely to have a newly diagnosed cancer, but she just wanted to be comfortable to spend her last days with her husband. They got to spend her last days together because she passed on uh, a few days later. Often at times, people associate the ICU with very aggressive things like intubations, like CPR with resuscitations. But I've learned that the ICU is not only a place where we intensively care for the sick, it's also a place where we want to also intensively care for the dying. Healthcare is really a profession whereby we get to help the patients in the most vulnerable states. Being the voice to those who cannot speak, being the hands to those who cannot really help themselves, being a source of comfort for the patients. Do you know what your parents think about your job now? Um, I think they are proud of me. <laughs> they definitely have a different perception towards nursing now. Them seeing me still going to work every day after 14 years being in this profession, I think they do know that I love my job. <laughs> What do you think at APM She's more of like a supervisor position, not so much of hands-on. There's quite a bit of hands-on. <laughs> not as much as before, right? No, even more. Even more? Hands-on. Sometimes he thinks I'm not working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs>